Good morning, everyone, and welcome to St. Aloysius Parish on this 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A warm welcome to all of you joining us here and from your homes, and to our celebrant this morning, Father Joe Sullivan. Greetings this morning may be found on page 477 of your Sunday Missal. I'd like to point out that we have some nice red roses, as today is also the 10th anniversary of Patrick McMahon's passing. And Mass is set for him, among others. The opening hymn is number 689. The Lord's my shepherd, 689. Thank mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Amen. The response of the song is Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Lord, Lord you have been our dwelling place in all generations. You turn man back to dust and say, Turn back, you children of Adam. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in the night. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all the generations. You sweep them away. They are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed. In the evening, Fades and wills. Lord, Lord, you are in our dwelling place in all generations. So teach us to count our days, that we may gain a wise heart. Turn, O Lord, how long? Have compassion on your servants. Lord, Lord you are in the dwelling place in all generations. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Let the favour of the Lord our God be upon us and prosper for us the work of our hands. Lord, Lord you have been our dwelling place in all. Set your mind on things that are above, not on things that are on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When 
Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices, and have clothed yourselves with the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. In that renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Nothing, 
nothing for charity causes. She spent little time months on herself, on her family, or her friends, and just for more and more and more money. So much so that when her son, Ned, broke his leg as a child, she dressed up as a poor woman and took her son to a charity hospital in New York so that he could be treated for free. And when she was recognized by one of the staff, they refused her. And of course, she then refused to use some of her wealth to pay for her son's sickness. Now his leg became infected, and eventually it had to be amputated. So such actions made her famous for her, for her marginalness, and she became known as the witch of Wall Street, an actual type of that lady. But Henny Green, she misused the opportunities that her wealth gave her. She didn't use her money even to take from her family, far less did she use the money to do any good for society. And she died widely ridiculed at this place, more famous as the world's greatest miser than the world's richest woman. So she certainly had opportunities to be a trailblazer for women's success in business, but she didn't really do that. But she's an example of what Jesus warns us about in today's gospel narrative. Because the gospel today can make for uncomfortable reading. Many of us have had worked hard to earn what we have as individuals and as family today. Yet the man in the parable is held up as an example of wasting time by building up his impressive stash of grain and goods. So I guess the question we ask ourselves is, is Jesus telling us that we shouldn't save up? Is he telling us that we shouldn't own any stuff at all? But fortunately for all of us, okay, the answer is no. The man in today's parable has decided to hold on to his great harvest. It is more than he needs, but he decides he will go to great lengths to hold on to it, even to build bigger and bigger barns to hold. But his fatal error comes when he speaks to his soul, telling himself everything is will be easy. Having more than you need might make your life easier in the short term, but it will do your soul no good at all. That's what Christ is suggesting. You can be the richest man, the richest woman in the world, if you don't have some love and you don't have a question your heart, you're nothing. So once he is dead, the man in today's story will have nothing. Our souls are made no better by having lots of money or lots of stuff. It is fine to have the things we need to live, but the gospel teaches us to be very weary about allowing our desire for wealth to be what really drives us, okay, in our life. In order to have something to take with us when we die, we are called to live lives that make us rich in God's eyes, not rich in the eyes of the world. Now, St. Paul makes all this clear in his letter to the Colossians, which is heard as our second reading today. His advice is as usual today as it was for his original readers. St. Paul encourages Christ's followers to focus on heavenly things. Now for St. Paul, earthly things and desires are a distraction from God. And we know from Paul's life that he did indeed give up everything that he owned to follow God. But he's not demanding that of people, people who are listening to the people that he's teaching to. But he's calling all of us to travel around the world with no possessions, to spread God's word. And he says the kind of 
faithfulness that he calls them to is something we can all aspire to. Unlike the man with his barns that's a full, he has a soul which we could suggest is empty. He can care less about the soul. And we Christians are called to have a life, okay, that's rich and strong when it comes to our inner world. Saying the same goes, you know, you can't take it with you when you go. But the treasures that we find in Jesus are something that we can take with us. And where are we going? All the way to heaven. So think about that. If you have money that you can spare, do it. You know? And I think we all have that opportunity. Again today, my God. Everywhere I go, I shouldn't say it that way, crossing a board. You know, there are beggars all the way along, okay, you can make the next in Notre Dame Street. And every day it seems to be a bit the number of people. And if I was a poor man, if I was a beggar, I would hope okay, that some of them would be kind to me. But even the beginning of the day, do some shopping. In my case, there was one lady there with three kids, okay? And the thing is, she's asking food for my babies. But what I had to put myself, all I gave to her. It's not a lot, but nonetheless, okay? So we have, we have the means that we have to really be willing to inflict in our life, okay, what Christ expects of us. With that thought in mind, we stand for our food. <coughs> Hansen, 
and for the healing of Pia's courtesy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord be our prayer. For our own personal and private intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us ask Mother Mary to join us in our petitions. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed are Jesus the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Them up to the Lord. It is right and just.
blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hallelujah.
For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant us peace and unity according to your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <coughs> Amen, John. The body of Christ. 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 My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. <clears throat> Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Greatly 
appreciate it. If we had a few volunteers, it would require one stop for each on the Sunday or the beginning of the week so that we can arrange to, to see the person and give communion. If you're interested, please call Joanne at the office and we will provide you with a fix and address of the person who would like to receive communion. We thank you in advance for offering your gift of time and kindness. There are birthday, there's one birthday creepy and that is for Tanya Bao. And celebrating an anniversary is Margaret and Tom McCoy. I don't think any other Margaret. No, 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 no. So, <coughs> before I say I have a safe and wonderful week ahead, I want to thank Father for doing this holy, holy, holy like he is. <laughs> I've been trying to get him to do that rather than me. He's got a voice. I don't. At least I know that I don't have one. <laughs> so thank you so much. And it's so nice that you did get when you were able to come ahead for us. It's, uh, it's really an act of kindness. <laughs> and the Sorry? Yes, yeah. oh, yeah. And when it will be time for the recession, it will be number 604. But first, we need to be blessed. <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Lord, with you. And, and with your spirit. We are very glad to the Father. Amen. Amen. This past event, let us go in peace and love to serve the world, our family and friends. We make the prayer of the Lord's name. Amen. 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 Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Thanks be to God. <laughs>